Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for November 4th through the 11th. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading is for somebody, I don't know who, alright? Not for every single person, it's for somebody, alright? Timing is fluid. I focus on love. Oh, you guys are reluctant to give up a fight, but perhaps it's time. There may be some tension in your life that needs to be let go of. Ooh. Ah, yeah, there is some tension that needs to be let go of, ain't there? This is a completion. It's the end. It's the death of something. Right? Transition. It's a time of transition. When you let whatever it is go that needs to go, you will feel relieved. But you got somebody is reluctant to move on, perhaps from a dead end situation. But endings bring new beginnings, right? But this is reluctant to move, reluctant to make a move. And this is reluctance. Didn't I start this out with reluctance? You guys are reluctant to allow a transformation. Reluctance on both sides of a new beginning. Stalling. Oh, jeez, some crow. There's probably a lack of communication, but definitely somebody's not making a move when they need to make a move. Clinging to the past memories. Children could be involved, right? Therefore, I can't, I can't do this because of the children. But there's so much tension. I mean, tension like you can cut it with a knife, right? You need to find your confidence to follow your vision, to follow your passion. It's like you have all this passion pent up inside of you. But you're not being logical. You're not being logical, refusing to make the decision that you need to make. You could be even dealing with, if, if you're a woman, you can be dealing with a man that is neglecting you. If you're a man, you could be neglecting your woman. Now, the man is doing, is neglecting something. And this woman has so much passion that she's about ready to, or she's thinking about moving on. The woman is thinking about moving on. And we have a man here that's not taking any action. He's not, he doesn't, he lacks passion. We have a man that lacks passion. And this woman is thinking about moving on. She's very conflicted. Who's this going to hurt? Ooh. Okay. So you guys might be going through some sort of midlife crisis. Going through a period of reevaluation, feeling alone, feeling lonely, even though you may have a partner, you're still feeling alone. And you probably really do need to reevaluate this situation more than you have been because you're not being logical. Maybe you're staying in a situation because you have this fear of growing old alone. Or you have this fear of being rejected by somebody else. Or do you just don't want to reject the other person. But your, your heart matters. Self-love. You have to love yourself before anybody else. Love matters.
You deserve love. You don't deserve to feel lonely. You don't deserve to be neglected. You deserve the passion. Oh, jeez, some crawl. There's a lack of passion. There's a lack of growth. It's like... <sighs> the spark, the flame that you once had... has died. The spark has died. And it's time to take back control and free yourself from this situation. This is take back control. Release. Release. This is a card of release and reverse. Release. It's time to release because there's no more growth. With whoever it is that you're holding on to in the past, it's a time of endings. In a relationship that is no longer happy, this is a completion of a relationship. The end. It's just the tens are an end. It's a completion that will lead you to something new, a new beginning. But you have to walk away from something that is no longer passionate first. You got to walk up those stairs. You got to keep going. You got to find the strength to do so. You need to stop hanging on to a situation that doesn't have any more growth. You need to stop sacrificing yourself for everybody but you. You're sacrificing yourself needlessly. It's time to struggle through this pain and have the new beginning that you deserve. You've been trying to stick it out, waiting for something to change, right? You've been expecting the passion to come back, right? You've been expecting this situation to turn around. It seems like you've been waiting forever for, you know, the spark to be relit. But it ain't happening. It's like, I mean, the ten of, this is, it's like, no. There's no more stability here. The only reason you're here now at this point really is for the money. The stability. And it's over. It's really done. There's completions all over in this reading. It is done. Done, 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 done. It's time, it's time for you to stop allowing yourself to be hurt. It's time to grow some new skin. It's time to stand up for yourself. Maybe you need to ask for some help. Maybe you need to let somebody help you. It's the end. You might have to make some compromises. You might have to learn some new things. Maybe you... you don't know how capable you are. You are capable.
of starting over. You are capable of going down a new path. You have the ability to learn new things, to do it over. You just need to find your confidence to do so and your strength. Maybe you just need to gain a new perspective. I feel as though there's been a new opportunity that has presented itself to you, maybe even a new suitor. That could lead to a lot of togetherness, but to get to this exciting opportunity, this exciting new path or whatever it is, to go down it, you're going to have to make some compromises and allow something to end first. There's no doubt that there's a completion here of something so that you can have this togetherness, this union with whoever this person is that's better suited for you. But you're not using your resources, you're not finding your strength, you're not finding your willpower and discipline, you're not loving yourself. The magician is all the cards made up into this, okay? You're not using your resources to bring success. You're not shedding, you're not taking action, you're staying stuck. Therefore, you're deceiving yourself in the ultimate way. And everybody else involved. Everybody that is involved in this situation is being lied to. Ultimate deception right here. Sneaky. You're hurting everybody involved by not loving yourself to the fullest extent. And be, you know why? Because when you don't love yourself to the full ex fullest extent and follow your own heart, you grow bitter and resentful. No shit, right? You may not you may you may be able to hide it, but you really can't hide it because it it's shown. Other people can see it, especially empaths and spiritual people and people that are awake can see your resent. You can't hide it from them. Hmm. It's time to come out of this darkness. It's time to come out of this victim mentality and, and go ask for help. Make that decision. To cut your losses and begin again. It's not about the money. It's not about the financial security. It's about your heart. Yeah, you may lose some of your assets or some of your money or whatever the hell this is. But you have an opportunity to take that next step. And make a choice between love and money. You can balance both. You can have both. But it looks like you're putting love on the back burner. A relationship is, is falling apart. And there's an opportunity for a new one that isn't being accepted because of money. And it's time for you to find your courage to head out and stand up for yourself. Take the lead. Master your emotions. Put yourself in the driver's seat and get the hell out of whatever this is. You could be dealing with a Cancer. We have Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Capricorn. We have everybody. 
but it is absolutely time for you to find that force within you to bring victory and success in all areas of your life. You, there's an opportunity to have both. There is. But you, the thing that you need to find at this point is courage to allow this release that is needed. To face this struggle. To face this pain so that you can have victory and success. Somebody wants you in their life and they are being rejected because you are choosing money over love or stability money or stability you're going to have to face some opposition and it takes courage to face opposition. It looks to me like you have a new opportunity that's right here, right at your door, looking you right in the face. And you want it. You want it. But in order to have it, something else has to die. And complete. You have to find the confidence, the courage, the willpower and the discipline to do the noble thing for everybody involved. So I think this is a month of making a decision. Perhaps you need to travel. Maybe travel is involved where you travel to you take you to, you find the courage to travel to the one you love or they travel to you I don't know love matters put it that way there's an opportunity for love here there is with somebody that I think you already know you've met this person I don't know what this is but this is travel maybe you met this person on travel get a couple of these let go of control issues that's a damn good one ain't it Virgo allow this situation to unfold naturally oh this is the story one of them right absolutely your love life is being affected by children maybe you can't go where you need to go because of the children and that's stability but your heart matters. And is that what you want to teach your children? To stay where... They, do you think about this? For those of you that are staying for the children. Is, is that what you're, you want your child to do? Do you want your child to stay in a relationship that has no passion, has no love? Where the other person doesn't isn't feeling fulfilled? Is that, do, do you want your child to be in that predicament? Would you want your or would you want your child to find the strength to stand up for themselves? Would you want your child to follow their heart? What would you want your child to do? Would you want them to stay in a situation where there's no love and passion or would you want them to follow their heart? I'm speechless okay it's time do it for everybody involved love matters talk to you next week